how did Darkseid forget what planet the Mother Boxes was on? It's the one battle he lost. I have a solution. I realize this means going back to the drawing board. I'm not saying that you could just edit around it. That battle took place on another planet, and after that, the people who took part in that battle decided to move the Mother Boxes, which at the time couldn't be tracked. You know, the, the tracking activates when Superman dies. You could still have it be that the people all step up to fight to protect this other planet. All that really requires is for someone to transport, the, you know, these people who start out on Earth so that, yeah, travel to, to that other planet. We know that at least one Green Lantern was involved, you know, who can, you know, they can travel through space. The Green Lantern, you know, have it be that the Green Lantern Corps arranged for some spacecraft, transported all the people to this other planet, which didn't have defenders. And if you ask, well, how did they know that Darkseid was going there? Well, Darkseid has been going around conquering planets all over the place. And presumably at some point, the Green Lantern Corps, who protect the entire universe, would take notice, track the movements of Darkseid, and voila. They, they deduced where he was going next because it was tactically advantageous for him. This would also help explain why no Green Lantern shows up during the events of this movie. They felt confident that Darkseid would never find the new location of the Mother Boxes. Maybe they don't think that anything will ever kill Superman. Maybe they don't know that Superman's death cry can awaken the Mother Boxes. So I'm not the first person to point out that the... It doesn't really make sense that Steppenwolf can teleport directly to the Amazon mother box. Let's see. And the you know the Atlantis one he finds after using mind reading on an Atlantean, but he has a lot of trouble finding the box of man. He keeps talking about people who have the scent of it. Went to the research facility where Silas Stone works, but he has to in individually interrogate the people who work there. And Yes, I realize this was a plot hole in the theatrical cut as well. But it seems like it must have been written by Snyder, not Joss Whedon. If not, why is it in Zack's cut? Once again, Joss Whedon did his best to fix Snyder's many mistakes. This was an area where trouble... What does that say? Yeah, they had trouble fitting it into the runtime of the filming schedule. That prevented him, I think. Doesn't seem to me like the scene added to this cut where a parademon almost enters Silas and Victor's apartment. And it doesn't actually make more sense, it makes less sense. I think the way to fix this thing of why Steppenwolf or the Parademons find that mother box Yeah, I can't find that mother box despite the whole scent thing. Drop the scent thing, make it that the more people from the race that is hiding a mother box, think about the mother box, you know, the easier it is for Steppenwolf to find it. Like, he can do a psychic scan, he doesn't have general telepathy, but he can, like, scan the minds of an overall race of people for thoughts about a mother box specifically. And if a significant amount of them are thinking about the mother box, then he can pinpoint where it is, because so many of them know where it is. The good guys don't know this, which is why they make this mistake. The Amazonians have a ton of people thinking about the Mother Box, worrying about the return of Darkseid, failing that one of his lieutenants. I'm referring to all the people standing inside the temple waiting for the return of someone who will take it, but also their families who know that's what they're doing and are scared for their safety. Amazonians strike me as being honest with each other. The only lie I can think of were a few to protect Diana. I'm not sure anybody, anyone but Diana were, was lied to there and the lie started when she was a child many parents maybe most lie to their children in atlantis there are not that many guards but maybe king orm has been using the threat of someone coming to take the mother box to unite his people which is something that fascists do they use fear to control their people so he's always talking about it has been since the mother books awoke when superman died and there you have it the reason why it took so long to find the box of man is that almost no human being knows about the existence of the mother box, much less where it is, because it is a closely guarded secret. Only the people at the research facility know that it exists. 
and only Silas knows exactly where it is, and because it takes so long for Steppenwolf to get the opportunity to interrogate Silas, since at first he doesn't even know who or where to look at at all in the world of man, he only gets to interrogate Silas very late in the story. I mean, I guess he never... Yeah, I don't think he does interrogate Silas in either cut. He finds the box because they use it to revive Superman. Now... He doesn't get a chance when Cyborg stops him, as we see in the movie, or maybe... He knows it has to do with Silas, and Cyborg got so angry, it must be Silas and or Cyborg who knows. So he researches where do they work, where do they live. Parademons do not find it where they live, it must, so it must be at the research facility, and then he finds it. Now, let's 